I'm glad to have this opportunity. Yes, Africa, we are blessed with a lot of resources, natural resources. We have gold, we have land, arable land for farming, and we have uh, the youth, we have the energetic youth, we have uh, timber, we have forestry, we have oil, we have bauxite, all these are available. All we need to do is to give strong leadership, strong leadership, and we need to engender our democracy so that based on this, we will be able to put in place strong leadership and leadership, the strong leadership will man all the structures so that we can create jobs for the youth. So all we need again is peace and harmony. If we have it because you see most of the people and most of the youth running out of the African continent are, or they do so as a result of civil strife. They do so as a, as, as a result of wars and hunger and lack of jobs. So if we are able to put in place strong institutions, strong leadership, create jobs for the people, like what we are doing in Ghana. For instance, our president, President Nana Adedanku Akufadu, has put in place certain flagship. You look at Ghana, almost half of the country is in Savannah. And the other part is in the forest area. And now, we have two rains or two sets of rain in the southern part of the country and one set of rain in the north. After four months, you don't have rains for the rest of the eight months in the north. So, and north, the northern part happens to be the food basket of Ghana. So when these rains are down, the people sit down, they don't have any jobs, and they are tempted to move to the south and possibly move to other parts of the world in search of greener pastures. This government, the Nadu Dankwaku for other government, has decided to have to come up with a flagship. We call it one village, one dam. Every village, they construct an irrigation dam. And this irrigation dam will provide jobs for the youth to engage in agriculture. And we also subsidize, we subsidize the cost of agri inputs, fertilizer, improved, fertilizer, improved seeds, and then we also give credit to farmers to produce and to farm and get a lot of raw materials or the farm produce. Then we also have another flagship called One District, One Factory. Government is inviting investors to come in and partner with the government, the public sector, so that they can create at least one industry in every district so that the youth will go in those apart from those who will go into farming the farm produce will serve as raw materials to feed the industries we also want to empower the youth so we have brought in free senior high school hitherto there were about 90,000 children every year who could not afford or whose parents could not afford to pay for their school fees now, government says from basic level or from pre-education to secondary school, we call it senior high school, education is free. Government, in addition, feed the children one square meal a day. And then we provide them with uniform, we provide them with textbooks, we pay their examination and registration fees. This is a way of encouraging a lot of people to move into education. So when this is done, we are empowering the youth, we are creating jobs for the youth, factories are there to take control of the raw materials and we are adding value into our products like cocoa and bauxite so that we will no more export the raw materials for other people to add value and bring it back and sell to us at a higher price. So I think we need strong leadership 
we need strong institutions so that we can implement policies. Above all these, there should be peace, and democracy is one of the ways by which we can ensure peace and have a stable environment and atmosphere. I thank you for the opportunity.